Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a really cool piece of hardware called a control surface and what it is and what it can do for you here in Studio One. So let's get started. So what is a control surface? It's pretty simple. Oftentimes in your digital audio workstation, you'll have a software version, a graphical user interface that you can interface with using a mouse or a touchpad to move faders and make choices and selections and playback and stop and rewind. Well, what a control surface often does is it gives you a tactile physical hardware piece of equipment to do that with. For in this case, I'm using the PreSonus fader port. And if you look at it, it looks like a small section of a larger mixing console without the hardware faders here for recording and mixing. And why I love utilizing one of these is Number one, uh, it gives you the ability to automate so you can have uh, volume changes that you can write in yourself. This uh, um, fader is automated. It gives you hardware, play, rewind, stop buttons. Plus you can program these and right out of the box, it interfaces with Studio One software. Now, it doesn't mean you have to use it just with Studio One because the good folks at Presonus make the tools available for people to utilize control surfaces like this on regardless of the DAW that you're using, which is really cool. Now in the back, we've got a USB 2, so you will need one of those to plug into your computer. And once you do that, it'll be automatically recognized. And why don't we power it on actually? It has a simple plug right here in the back. Put it in and power it on by pressing this button here. There you go. Now, it's probably flashing because I don't have the USB connected to my computer and linked to the Studio One software. So just press any button and it's in standby mode. So again, a production controller like this does give you the advantage of having something physical to interface with your PreSonus Studio One software with. A lot of advantages to that. Not only, not only does it look really cool, uh, sitting on your desk, but there's also another version of this that has I believe uh, up to eight more faders for uh, For busing and making groups and we can talk more about that later uh, So again, this is a control surface and I'm going to be using this throughout the video too Again for more information go to presonus.com. So check it out anytime you want presonus fader port it also comes with studio one artist software I should also say, so if you're in the market, you're just beginning and you're new to audio production and you're thinking about buying software, well, why not invest in the hardware that includes the software too? Because you may be picking one of these up later on. Now this one does not have IO. It doesn't do input output of audio. You can't plug a guitar or microphone into this particular unit. This is just a physical control surface, giving you that tactile representation, that hardware look and feel for certain applications that are built into the Studio One software. All right, for uh, IO, we're obviously the um, Quantum 2, we're gonna be using this as we looked at before. All right, so again, for more information, check it out online. Uh, but that is the Fader Port by PreSonus, really cool. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.